Good morning, freedom lovers. Welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangie, and we are sitting in the car, and I am getting ready to go into Aldi. Now, I didn't have a chance to go through my pantry, make my list, add everything up, because um, I was kind of in a hurry this morning. I had a closing to go to, which is why I look a little bit more fancier than I usually do. I got to leave the homestead today. Um, but I do need to go in. I do need to pick up some groceries. I am going, going to try to stay within my $60 budget. I have a few things that I want to pick up for canning recipes. Um, I am getting ready to harvest our green tomatoes with the temperature change, they're just, they're not ripening. And so what's happening is they're staying on the vine and they're turning to worm food. I will insert a clip here of going, uh, of uh, an army worm eating some of my tomatoes. I had to show you guys this. This is a, an army worm that has gone from one tomato into the next. It's disgusting. I hopped on YouTube really quick and was looking at Rachel from 1870s Homestead uh, video about all the things that she does with her green tomatoes. Went and looked at those recipes and I think I would like to make maybe a batch of the um, green salsa, the salsa verde. And I want to try the mock jam. I think that would be awesome. I didn't can any of my strawberries because we had slugs really bad this year. So I, I got like a gallon and a half of strawberries for the freezer and I wanted to keep those whole for um, like smoothies and stuff and yogurt. So anyway, I'm going to attempt to make some of this mock jam, but I also have a few things to get for the um, refrigerator and things like that. So we will meet back at the kitchen table and see how I did and then we'll discuss this week's meal plan. All right guys, so I went into the store with a loose plan, no list. So how did I do? All right, friends, we are back. So like I was saying, I left the house this morning. I had something, a place I had to go for work and I did not have a list. I had a loose idea because this morning I checked all of the apps for the sales. All these uh, sales circular comes out on Wednesday, so I checked that first thing on Wednesday morning. $60 was my budget, so let me turn you around and show you what I got, and we'll talk about how I did without a list. All right, so here is the table, and I'm gonna tell you that these three things, these three things ended up being a separate transaction. So we'll talk about that in a second. All right. So this one gallon of whole milk was $197. Thankfully, they had their 10 pound bags of russet potatoes in stock again. They were $547 a bag. I went ahead and got 20 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, this bag of pure cane sugar was $2.71. That's crazy. Um, I got two containers of paprika. They were 97 cents a piece. This bag of real bacon bits, I think it was like $1.26, something of that, like that. Um, this cream of mushroom soup was 68 cents a can. I got four of them. I got the um, extra sharp cheddar. Uh, the Wisconsin cheddar was on sale for $1.85. So I got one of those. And then the mozzarella is $1.99. <clears throat> I got 10 avocados. They were on sale for 49 cents a piece. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I got a pound of pork sausage. I think it's like 220, I think is how much those are. Somewhere around there. Um, pepperoni, I think was two, like it was like 249. We'll say 250. It was about 250. Um, something that you don't see in my grocery hauls normally, I got some strawberry gelatin. I got four boxes and we'll talk about that in a moment. Four bags of broccoli florets. They finally had them. They've been out of the regular broccoli florets for a while. Um, and so I got four bags and those are 95 cents a piece. Uh, angel hair pasta, one box was one, I can't remember how much it was. It was 184 a piece. I got two of those. We really like angel hair pasta. Um, I like the texture better um, and plus they cook faster. Uh, one box of black tea, this is what we make our sweet tea with, was 189 
The French vanilla coffee creamer was $249. This big bottle of ranch dressing was $299. And then this organic marinara sauce was $189 a jar. So that haul was $53.61. So again, I went without a list and I did the math in my head. And when I realized that I still had $7 that I could spend, I went back and I got more things. <laughs> so I got two more blocks of cheese. Um, again, this was $1.99 and this was $1.85. And I got another bag of black beans. We love black beans uh, and I can these. So um, I just thought I'll just get another bag. And so my total was $6.53. And so I am over budget by 14 cents. Ask me if I'm mad about it. Nope. So even though I didn't really have a meal plan in mind when um, when I bought everything, because I know that we, you know, we're getting stocked up. We have a lot of things in our cabinets and in our freezers. And so basically I just got ingredients. Um, the broccoli can go in chicken, broccoli, and rice. It can go in broccoli soup. It can go on baked potatoes. It can be a side. Um, broccoli is my second most favorite vegetable. And so... We love it stir fry, like there's a bajillion things that you can do with broccoli and I think it's a great frozen vegetable to have stocked up. Um, same thing with marinara sauce. You can use it as pizza sauce, you can use it to dip stuff in, you can make strombolis, you can use it in soups. Um, if you make like an Italian soup, I make a tortellini soup and it, the base is chicken broth and marinara sauce. Um, so lots of different things that you can do with marinara sauce. Uh, cream of mushroom. It's just, you know, if you're making potato soup or a casserole or something, it's just, I like having them on hand. First potatoes. Ooh, I mean, you can make a bajillion things with potatoes, but my plan, because I still have the 10 pound bag from last week and I have part of a five pound bag from the week before, some of these are going to get dehydrated. Some of these are going to get canned. And yeah, and then some of them we're gonna eat fresh. So let's talk about the 10 avocados. They were on sale for 49 cents a piece. When I make guacamole, I usually use two avocados. And so this would make five batches of guacamole for my family. So two of these I'm going to leave out to make guacamole. The rest of it I'm going to freeze. Um, I was actually, when I saw that they were on sale this morning, I looked it up because I know you can buy chunks of cooked or a frozen avocado. And so um, I looked and they do freeze well. So I am going to mash um, them and then I'm going to freeze them and then food vacuum seal them. Um, with some lemon juice to keep them from browning. And apparently frozen avocado does really well um, in guacamole. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to put up four batches of avocados for guacamole. Okay, so uh, another thing that you're probably wondering, all right, what was she thinking? The four boxes of strawberry gelatin. Um, I was, I saw that Rachel from that 1870s homestead did a video on what you can do with green tomatoes and she was talking about her mock strawberry jam and I was like, I'm gonna have to try that. All right, um, so what am I trying to say is, um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to do the mock strawberry jam and I might even do some mock strawberry jalapeno jam with it because that would be really interesting. That is everything I got. Um, the meal plan most likely won't be much different than it was last week. Um, I did not make meatloaf. I think I ended up making some, oh yeah, I ended up making a big pan of um, pasta, penne pasta with uh, meat sauce and cheese and I put that in the oven. And the great thing about that is that we ate on it for for several times. Like we ate it for dinner and then um, Jack and Emily were able to take some for lunch for a few days. Um, so that was really great. And then um, I still have the chicken. I never did fix the chicken for sandwiches. Um, so I'm gonna have to use that up pretty quickly. Um, Let's see, I did not make the beef sliders. I ended up making um, like a goulash and we ate on that a couple of days.
So we, I did make the chicken and broccoli Alfredo. I did make the pizza. I didn't do barbecue chicken. I did two pepperoni pizzas. If you guys join us on our Monday Night Lives, then you saw that. But I did a sourdough starter pizza crust, which was amazing. Um, I did a farmhouse on Boone's recipe and it was wonderful. So definitely we'll be doing that again, which is what the turkey pepperoni is for. Um, let's see, I did not make chili and I did not make Southwest chicken soup. So all of those things, I mean, we basically, I cooked a couple of times last week. So I made the broccoli chicken Alfredo, I made the pizza, I made the pasta dish and I made the goulash. And those were the only things that I cooked. We did not eat out for dinner um, last week at all. We stayed, we stayed in this realm. So lunches ended up being, um, lunches ended up being leftovers. I did make the hummus and the veggies and that was really good. Uh, and I did make breakfast sandwiches. The, uh, I had made a sourdough English muffin and it was fantastic. We'll be doing that again. I used again, farmhouse on Boone's recipe. It was fantastic. We still have yogurt, um, for smoothies. I also need to do some more waffles. So yeah, so it's pretty much going to be a repeat. I'm not going to change anything off of this. I might, we won't do the broccoli Alfredo because I didn't get any more, um, cream cheese, but Everything else on here, I can absolutely do again, and it really won't be a repeat. So. All right, friends, I'm sitting here. It is evening time. I took my watch off. I don't know what time it is, but it's late. Uh, me and Ruger. Emily's over here, but she's in her jammies. So, uh, anyway, there was something important that I could not remember I wanted to share with you guys. And while I was editing the video, I remembered what it was, the tip I wanted to share with you guys. So... My tip is this, like I showed how I did in this grocery haul, is whenever you have set aside a budget and you know that is how much you can spend, spend every bit of it. Like earlier, I could have thought, oh, yay, I saved $7, but no, I had $60 that I could spend. Why not spend every bit of it? So that is what I want to encourage you to do. Even if you're very careful, you've made your meal plan, um, you shop the sales. If you get to the register and you have $5 left, then go back and get five more dollars worth of something because that is extra food that you can put back. Anyway, that is all I've got for you guys today. I've got to get back to work and put these groceries up. Until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. God bless you all, and we will catch you in the next one.